Hello my lovelies, welcome to my little cottage by the sea, the place where I love to stitch and craft my way to a vintage inspired and sustainable lifestyle. In today's video I have got a very special treat for you as part of my 13 treats of Vlogtober. I stumbled across this Vintage Vogue sewing book in the archive of the college that I teach at. It's from October 1937 and I just had to share it with you because it's just so beautiful. The very lovely librarians kindly allowed me to film the book in the library archive. I wasn't allowed to remove it from the building so as a result the lighting is a bit off it's a bit wobbly i did my best to film as well as i possibly could but i hope that any of the sort of filming issues and glitches are not going to be too distracting from what is an incredibly inspiring and beautiful piece of fashion history with that in mind and without further ado let's time travel back to October 1937 and see what all the seamstress fashionistas are about to sew for their autumn and winter wardrobes. We open this beautifully illustrated Vogue 1937 edition just the same as pattern books now with all the new and fashionable things the seasonally appropriate items and here are some beautiful dresses. There's a lovely detail on the front of this gathered bodice and then some interesting godet. And look at these bunny ear shoes. I apologise in advance because I do get quite distracted by shoes throughout this beautiful book. Once we've looked at sort of the new seasonal trends, we go to this bit. Vogue's editors select three designs to make eight costumes. And I was at absolutely blown away and so inspired by this idea. So this following section is basically lots of the patterns all put together to create what is essentially capsule collections. I don't know if the Dachshund came free with the pattern book. I certainly hope that was the case. So you essentially have three or four pattern picks and then these incredibly beautiful drawings of all the outfit combinations to create beautiful capsule ideas for day and evening, some more casual than others. I thought that all the options that they give you and the different combinations of outfits were just brilliant and I wonder why capsule wardrobes are always so bland these days. It's a thing that I've looked at on my channel before but I'm definitely going to revisit. Here are the patterns closer up. So a skirt, a coat, a blouse of some kind, a dress of some kind and a jacket seems to be the basic formula. And my real takeaway from this section, other than having my mind blown by capsule concepts, capsule collections even, with just all the combinations of colours, it really got me thinking in a new way. I especially loved this, the pink, and you've got sort of a collection of evening and day wear here. So this is basically all of your, all of your needs. Three patterns to make eight costumes. And you've got this blouse and then a black dress. I think actually it's a very deep brown, but for me it would be black, pink, and then a blue skirt, and then this lovely shot of chartreuse. These colour combinations are not combinations I would necessarily put together, but how beautifully are they illustrated? I really wish that pattern books kind of up their game now and actually did something like this because I would be far more tempted to buy patterns if I could sort of see them all put together and creating different looks for different occasions with sort of different styles as well. It's quite subtle but I think you can see through this that some are a little bit more glam. This is definitely more of an evening occasion wear um, combination of patterns which I really love. So you have here this lovely corally coat, evening coat on the left, very much reminds me of the coats that Ozzy Clark ended up doing in the 70s and he was very much evoking a 30s aesthetic and style. And then you've got these two sort of evening-y dresses, quite simple petticoat looking, two sort of evening full-length over coats or over dresses and then a 
fur trim jacket and then this really beautiful dress so any kind of zhuzhi occasion you've got the outfit there for them and I love this idea of the bows down the front that seems to be repeated quite a lot through this pattern book all those rouleau buttons absolutely divine I've spent so much of my life making rouleau buttons that sometimes the thought of it makes my heart fall out of my feet loved this evening wear set as well actually quite bridally so maybe this would have been something that you could have worn to a wedding as a guest or as a bride even with that full length lemony coat beautiful love the combination of pale pink and the berry red and also this thing that keeps coming up accessorized what I'm calling cleavage florals we have this really lovely little evening jacket again with three ties and I love the way that collar jets out on that very pale pink jacket that's put over the berry dress love this dress with the slightly draped but high cowl neck a perfect tea dress and how lovely with some shoulder florals this time I definitely would like to be making some kind of jacket like this simple jacket love these 30s simple jackets you don't have to do all the collars and reveres and so on so they're much easier to pattern cut and sew and this lady on the left here is sighing because she's lost her dance partner and her twin on the right is handing her a cup of tea I'm assuming a cup of gin to calm her fraught nerves how to take four patterns and make 12 costumes and it gives you the tips there hopefully you are picking up the pattern numbers and maybe you can try and find these online somewhere quite unusual to find original vogue patterns here's a more librarian studious look for those of us who love dark academia if that's how you pronounce it but here is a sort of more day go to general wardrobe so a blouse a jacket a waistcoat a sort of eveningy over blouse a more dressy skirt a day skirt and then this lovely berry sort of swing coat which I don't really associate with the 30s but there are quite a few of these here so this would give you a wonderful combination of patterns there's four patterns been chosen here and you would get all of your outfits for all the things that you need to do just change up the fabrics to more fancy fabrics and you've got occasion wear but if you do things in cottons and wools you've got something more day wear and I just love all the colours that are jumping out at me this black and chartreuse story is particularly my cup of tea here is a shirt dress so I'll be making some kind of 1939 shirt dress there's a video somewhere I'll try to remember to put a card up there's a swing jacket and a sort of occasion wear dress with an ascot I kept calling it a dickie and here it is the dickie what I really loved about this particular dress though was that it's got this collar that you can lay flat or you can stand the collar up and have brooches and neck and dress clips or flowers to completely change the look or of course put your ascot underneath and then you can wear the swing jacket. I'm assuming this would be more in a lighter weight fabric rather than as a sort of an outerwear coat type situation. Here are some more pattern picks and capsule collections for your delectation. The one at the bottom left has got culottes. So we do see quite a few culottes, particularly later on. Not so many trousers, but there are a few. The focus really in this seems to be these kind of suit sets and then dresses with the separates. Really love the berry sort of colour raspberry with grey. Here's some little loafers with some socks. Better get knitting some socks. Socks and loafers, not really a look that I do, but really quite fab here. This lady is very jaunty. I imagine she's a journalist or, or some such. We then head into jackets and coats, which it being October, fall, winter, there are quite a few varieties here. 
I'm just sort of flicking through to give you a sense of all the silhouettes and also at this time I was being hurried up because the library was going to close. How fab is that pale pink suit there on the lower right hand side? Really love that sort of sleek silhouette and the beautiful tailored jackets and suits that you'd get. Also love this green one here. Really loving pink and green at the moment, especially together. It's a very, very classic suit, really, and you get versions of all the way through, even in the 50s. Love this heart-shaped beret. I made one for myself a while ago, so I'll be dusting that off for the coming colder months. Lots of varieties, actually, in silhouette. Still very long and sleek, but you have this sort of fit and flare silhouette as well as a sort of swing coat silhouette. And how glorious is this cape absolutely beautiful so in wool it could just be day wear but you could do this in a velvet and and stun people at social events that happen in the evening who am I kidding I'm normally knitting and watching some kind of Dracula film love all the accessories that are being styled up so you see all the bags the shoes the hats and lots of fur you will notice as we go through. I don't know much about faux fur at the time, but I'm assuming that all of these were poor little bunny rabbits or exotic animals of some kind. Do love these more, I suppose, glamorous coats, I want to call them. A little bit more Hollywood rather than the sort of tweedy coats. They're not so much my cup of tea. Although far more practical. I absolutely adore this outfit. It's going to have to happen. This coat that's more of a, an evening coat that you can make caped sleeves with. Can you believe it? And then this very beautiful pussy bow tie neck dress with a gourd skirt, rouleau buttons. Look at that with a little jaunty beret, maybe perched atop the head in black velvet if you do the coat in black velvet how stunning and then this one of the last coats just made me think of Marlena Dietrich a favorite muse of mine then we are in the blouse section and blouses of this time are really quite intricate and ornate there's a definite sort of use of lots of design details ruching yokes gathering lots of different pin tucking and sleeve designs you seem to get lots of little collars and there seems to be a very clear delineation between casual and occasion wear and this seems to be defined not only by details but also by the types of fabrics that are used we've got a few more jackets um, if you haven't already seen some jackets that you like but here are some really beautiful ones not necessarily just for winter also for summer because these catalogues did still carry over all their patterns from past seasons here's some evening blouses how beautiful in very heavy silks and velvets some skirts kind of plain at this time skirts were longer and lean you might get some bias cut skirts still but very full bias cut so they hang really beautifully especially in that very heavy cold rayon these blouses were especially beautiful with little collars and yokes and gathers and all sorts and I loved this one look at her she's most definitely casting a spell and up to nefarious things with that particular hat and blouse combo buttons at the back and then all this sort of top stitching on the collar absolutely love that and need a witch's hat just like that to be wearing in fall and winter lots more blouses with beautiful sleeves and tie belts and all sorts of goodness very similar shapes really going into the 40s and I'm imagining really that the way things were back then and actually the way things should be is that these treasured wardrobe pieces you would carry on wearing them for years and years as you could loved this Romanian style smocked blouse in here how beautiful in that pink with the little collar would love to make something like that for my wardrobe 
lots more blouses. So you would just have a couple of skirts really and then you would choose a few different blouses to make up in really beautiful fabrics. How fabulous in a Liberty Tana lawn. Loved these slightly oriental looking over blouses and lounging sets. I've seen Dita Von Tees wear these in her lovely home tours and I'm really quite fancying something like that myself but maybe with some wincyette on the inside just to keep me snugly. Some lovely evening blouses. Do really love these 30s evening blouses and as I've mentioned before on my channel I'm really needing some jackets and outerwear so they're very much on my list of things I need to make. I keep putting it off. I don't know why. There's a lovely little cape, evening cape. I made one like this in a Hedy Lamar tribute video, which I'll try to link. And then we're sort of going back to jackets again. Some of these are repeats. You may have noticed them on previous pages and in that sort of capsule collectioning at the beginning but we are heading towards the end of the separates here and we get to some skirt designs again as I said long and lean this kind of side button skirt is quite interesting and some more skirts some with belts as an option and then this sort of wrap around style and here are the last few pages we've got some tippets coat collars some dress collars so that you can zhuzh up your plain frock and get all sorts of different looks from it. Some coat sleeves. How fab is that ruching detail on design E? Then we've got some sun suits and play suits and garments to be doing sport in if you are of that persuasion. Always good to have some leisure outfits or leisure outfits and dresses to wear while you're cleaning the house or going riding how fab are those jodhpurs very difficult to get jodhpurs um vintage ones now an artist smock some ice skating and then just some sleeve sets so that you can really change your dresses love this idea i think simplicity do something like this now might be quite a nice idea to have a look at those and here we are nearly at the end some really lovely hats I was being very pestered to leave at this point and you know how strict librarians can be honestly I'm just in raptures about this incredible vintage find well nearly antique now how beautiful is this pattern book and all the ideas I just so wish I could go back time travel back in my time machine and at least buy all the shoes and all the patterns. I hope you've enjoyed sharing this little time travelling adventure with me and do let me know what your takeaways are and your favourite things that you've seen so far. There is a part two to this video so in part two on Tuesday I'm going to be sharing all the beautiful dresses which is just my favourite bit. I think those sort of latter years of the 30s just sort of going into the war before rationing really took hold that is when I feel some of the most beautiful clothes were created and I just absolutely am in love with that time. I hope that wherever you are, my lovelies, you're keeping very safe and well and I look forward to seeing you for the fourth treat of October. Take care, my lovelies. Till next time. Bye.